Hey guys, it's Yura. I just wanted to pop in here and kind of give you an update on what has happened since the start of the year. A lot has happened. Um, I am a little bit sick, so I apologize for my voice a bit. So one of the things that happened at the start of the year, a really, really big thing in my life is that I left my job. Good morning, you guys. So today is actually my last day at work. Um, I'm gonna be getting my exit interview done. I'm gonna get all of that stuff out of the way. I'm going to get my paycheck. I decided to leave the nine to five type of schedule job to try out what it's like to <clears throat> um, freelance and kind of um, <clears throat> pursue doing YouTube. Since I've been doing YouTube for about almost close to ten years, almost close to ten years. Um, I started it when I was like in high school. I started very early. It was sort of like my outlet. It was my creative outlet. Um, aside from all the pressures of school, doing well, college apps, um, AP classes, all of that. So this was my little outlet um, for creativity that I was um, persuaded not to do uh, by you know the whole Asian parenting and stuff like that. YouTube, blogging, all of this stuff was there for me from the very beginning as sort of like my therapist. Um, recently, I did get a therapist. Um, <clears throat> Starting around April or so, after all my troubles with um, identity theft, a funeral, and just a lot of things happened, um, you know, in 2016, like all at once, that kind of pushed me to get a therapist to just help me get through this point in my life. I'm still with my same therapist, and while I'm going through therapy, just came to acknowledge um, what I want to do for myself rather than what um, I should be doing and I did all the stuff that I should do I graduated from a good college got my degree I came through a successful path um, I got a good job um, I was working for a nonprofit organization and I was doing great work for the public and um, I still couldn't help but think about the other side, which was, you know, what about my creative side? What about the things that I, you know, want to try to do, but, you know, wasn't really in my list of things to do that was kind of scheduled out for me um, in life. So that curiosity has been there for a very, very long time. Um, and I decided to kind of jump for it. While I'm still young and try this out, mainly because I don't want to go on to later regret in my life for not trying something out. I did have a wonderful um, AP Euro teacher who kind of pulled me aside because he knew I was going through a lot of stress at the time um, with work, uh, with schoolwork and you know extracurricular activities in high school and things like that. He did pull me aside and was like, once you get old and you put all this hard work in and you just kind of go through this grind. Once you get old and you're on your deathbed, do you want to um, look back and die, you know, pass on with regret, or would you like to look back and see how amazing your life was and kind of celebrate um, yourself on your deathbed? That has been on my mind for a while too. It was through therapy that helped me kind of overcome a lot of emotional roller coasters I was going through, and I know a lot of people on YouTube are kind of going on to doing the same thing. Um, I just saw uh, Sandy, Sandy Lynn's video about it. It is something that, you know, sounds amazing and great to do, but at the same time, it is incredibly scary and it's kind of flipping your world upside down. But yeah, so that is a long-winded way of me saying I left my job to try out something new that's, that wasn't in my idea of path in life that was kind of set out for me um, with my parents and all of that. I wanted to try this out, kind of give it all my um, energy and time. And I hope you guys, you know, join me on this journey. It is very exciting, at the same time very scary because I'm pulling myself away from the common idea of like having a nine to five job, having a stable income, having your own like place and you know, all this, all this path stepping away from that to try something out, something new 
and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the videos I'm gonna make I have a lot of ideas that I've been like stacking up for the past 10 years and um, and I'm excited that I get to finally have the time and energy to produce them. Another really great thing that happened the day after it was my last day of work was um, I, I got to be in a, in a movie. It's called Snakehead. Um, I found out through Chriselle Lim. Um, she's also here on YouTube. You guys probably know her. She's very big. Um, she's also a blogger. And she posted on her Instagram about this movie that they're looking for extras. So I responded to it and I'm kind of in it <laughs> as, as a background actor, actress, whatever you want to call it. I don't know when exactly the movie is going to come out since it is still in production and being filmed. They did say it might take about a year or so. So yeah, you guys should check it out in about a year or so and see if my face comes out. As for the production day, it was a lot of hard work, great opportunity. Um, it was fun, it was my second time doing something like this. I have modeled before for Anastasia Beverly Hills. I didn't know. It was kind of nice to go back into a production environment. And I got to meet a lot of wonderful people on set. And towards the end of the day, there was a surprise, which was Chriselle Lim herself showed up on set. And then I got to meet her and chat with her. Um, and. I was all able to be part of her vlog. Hopefully I could see it come out soon. That would be very exciting. Yeah, Chriselle was there. I took a picture with her. Alan was also there. He is really tall and oh my god, they are such a sweet couple. I got to chat with both Chriselle and Alan. Um, a little bit about Chloe, a little bit about, you know, being Koreans and Korea and things like that. So it was really nice. Nice surprise. So those are the really big things that happened at the start of the year. Uh, I left my job, said a lot of goodbyes. So as for this channel, I do plan on putting out more styling videos, more fashion videos, um, and more vlogs. Because I love watching vlogs and I love making them. So yes, there will be more vlogs um, and all those like crazy ideas that's been like, you know, stocked up over the decade or so. Um, those will start to come out and I know I've been getting quite a few amount of subscribers lately so welcome to the family um, I am going through a rebranding shenanigan on here um, I, this channel used to be called pieces to pieces I have changed it a couple of times it used to be called Yuri Kimchi way back in the day um, and then now I'm just changing it to Yura Kim so yeah I hope 2017 will be an amazing year a lot of things have happened good and bad in 2016. I don't, I'm not hating on the bad stuff that happened because those were the things that did push me onto doing more things and getting to learn more about myself. So I appreciate all the good and the bad from 2016. Um, and I will hope that 2017 will be even better and there will be even more things in 2017 and i hope you guys will join me along in this journey um and thank you guys so much for you know watching this video being part of the family that's pretty much it for this update video i will have more coming out very soon probably do maybe like two videos a week or so so as usual much love peace